This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1391, Tiny and Mighty, Why the Sardine is a True Superfood, by Riley Pierce of freeformfitness.ca. And I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy middle of the week Wednesday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I read some of the best health and fitness blogs to you, always with a little bit of my commentary at the end. So it's the middle of the week, and like I do every Wednesday, I wanna share with you a little bit of inspiration. Now, I actually wanna repeat a quote I shared with you yesterday, and this is because I think it applies to today's post too. I'll explain, but first, let me give you the quote. Three great essentials to achieving anything worthwhile are, first, hard work, second, stick-to-itiveness, and third, common sense. Thomas Edison. So all of these things are so important when we think about achieving any goal we have set for ourselves. Hard work, consistency, of course, but at the same time, incorporating some common sense. Yesterday, I was sharing stories about how I did not incorporate common sense a whole lot when I first started getting into weightlifting. Now, today's post is gonna talk about the benefits of consuming sardines. Now, does that mean you have to eat sardines if you absolutely hate them? Of course not. It's gonna be one of the suggestions we present, but common sense would tell us there may be other ways to achieve similar goals. Now, I feel like I've already started to get into my commentary, so let me stop right here and remind you that I answer your questions every Friday. You can send in your question to health at oldpodcast.com. That's health at oldpodcast.com. But for now, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Tiny and Mighty, Why the Sardine is a True Superfood by Riley Pierce of freeformfitness.ca. The idea of superfoods is something that has been popularized in the last few decades. These superfoods are nutrient-rich, colorful, and promise cancer-fighting, age-defying, and optimal health results. They are also typically very expensive. But what if we told you that we've had access to a cheap superfood for as long as humans have been fishing. Sardines are a small fish typically sold in cans due to the fact that they spoil very quickly. Inside these little silvery fish lies a wealth of nutrition. Due to their small size and being at the bottom of the food chain, they are also lower in heavy metals and PCBs when compared to other larger fish like tuna. If you want to know how this inexpensive little fish can provide you with the necessary nutrients for truly optimized health, then keep listening. Macronutrient breakdown. Although small, these fish pack a powerful protein punch. In one sardine, which weighs around 12 grams, you'll find three grams of protein. That means that 25% of their calories are made up of important amino acids for muscle growth, tissue repair, and healthy brain function. If you're looking for a protein that comes with a moderate amount of fat, then these little guys are a great choice. In one sardine, you'll get 1.35 grams of fat, or around 11 grams of fat per can. Lastly, and especially important for those of you looking to keep your carb intake low, sardines are carb-free, as most animal protein sources are. The macronutrient breakdown of a sardine is impressive, but where they really pack their nutritional punch is in their micronutrient profile. The vitamins and minerals they provide contribute to a healthy heart, healthy bones, and brain health. Micronutrient details. Sardines are one of the best food sources out there because they provide us with more than 40% of our daily recommended value of critical nutrients. These include vitamin B12, selenium, phosphorus, omega-3 fatty acids, and vitamin D. Vitamin B12 is an important water-soluble vitamin. It's part of cell regeneration and can also have protective effects on some of our most vulnerable cells like nerve cells, and brain cells. Selenium is a less common nutrient that doesn't get as much attention as we think it should. It's an antioxidant and a cofactor in the production of thyroid hormone, which plays an important role in human metabolism. Selenium also acts as an enzyme and therefore aids in the multitude of chemical reactions that go on inside our bodies every day. It is required for proper immune function, sperm motility, and evidence suggests it can reduce the risk of miscarriage. If you do not get enough selenium, 
you can experience unpredictable mood fluctuations, and you put yourself at a higher risk for cardiovascular disease and have a weaker defense against some cancers. The fact that you get 87% of your daily selenium from this tiny fish makes sardines a nutritional hero. Phosphorus is another nutrient that really isn't talked about much or really glorified in the fitness industry, but holds incredible power in the body. Phosphorus works behind the scenes to ensure that many cellular functions go down as they should. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is the energy molecule that our body uses for everything. Phosphorus also enables enzymes to catalyze reactions and helps carry the signal from the nervous system to vital organs. Omega-3s and vitamin D definitely get a lot of attention in the media, the fitness industry, and at your favorite health food store. The two work together to keep the brain healthy, the immune system working properly, and your bones strong. Omega-3s are also an important nutrient for heart health, and vitamin D works with neurochemicals in the brain to regulate our moods. How to enjoy. Not everyone likes the idea of small canned fish, so we want to give you a few resources to help you enjoy sardines and benefit from their impressive nutrient profile. Picking sardines. If you are buying them fresh, you want their eyes to be bright and their bodies to be firm. If you are buying them canned, it will depend on your preference. Always choose olive oil over soybean oil if you're going for canned sardines and oil. If you want to keep your fat grams on the lower end, then you can always grab the sardines that are canned in water. According to chefsresource.com, the top three brands of canned sardines are one, King Oscar sardines. These are considered the best tasting ones. Two, Wild Planet wild sardines. And three, Seasons skinless and boneless sardines in pure olive oil. Based on the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch, Pacific sardines are the best option especially the ones caught in the Gulf of California or Southern Australia. Whole sardines have to be gutted and deboned. Once you have chosen your sardines, it is time to make a meal. Sardines can be put in salads, on sandwiches, or simply cooked in olive oil, garnished with fresh ingredients like parsley and hot peppers. So there you have it. This article should have given you a better idea of why these little fish are a secret superfood, and maybe even inspired you to try something new. You just listened to the post titled, Tiny and Mighty, Why the Sardine is a True Superfood by Riley Pierce of freeformfitness.ca. Now, when you do what you love, like running, racing, or enjoying the great outdoors, you want to do it for life. Inside Tracker is here for you. They're all about optimizing your life, as I like to say on this show. Inside Tracker was founded in 2009 by leading scientists in aging, genetics, and biometrics from MIT, Tufts, and Harvard. Using their patented algorithm, Inside Tracker analyzes your body's data to provide you with a clear picture of what's going on inside you and to offer you science-backed recommendations for positive diet and lifestyle changes. These are meaningful insights and customized action plans of science-backed nutrition, fitness, and lifestyle recommendations. Then, track your progress, and adjust based on real-time feedback from your body. Now, for a limited time, my listeners get 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store. Go to insidetracker.com slash OHD to get your discount code and to start using Inside Tracker today. That's insidetracker.com slash OHD for 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store and I have that linked in this episode's description. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Okay, so what if, as I read this article to you, you were cringing the whole time? One of my first memories of sardines actually came from the television show I Love Lucy. I used to watch reruns of the show all the time when I was a kid. I remember in one episode, when Lucy was pregnant, she was experiencing those strong pregnancy cravings. And one of these cravings, was for pistachio ice cream topped with fudge sauce. Oh, and one more ingredient. She wanted her pistachio and fudge ice cream topped with sardines. I still remember Ricky, her husband's face, 
He could barely watch Lucy as she happily enjoyed this concoction. He just kept shaking his head and looking away. So if the thought of eating sardines has you cringing like Lucy's husband, Ricky, take heart, you're not alone. In my experience, most people aren't all that willing to eat foods that have such a strong flavor profile. As today's author Riley mentioned, sardines are full of important nutrients. That's absolutely true. And if these nutrients are important to you and you wanna be sure to get these same nutrients in your diet without eating sardines, well, we might have to get a little more creative then. So to get the same healthy fats and the selenium that we find in sardines, you could opt to eat other fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, herring, or trout. Now, if you don't prefer any of those, you can consider supplementing with some omega-3 fats to help you get enough of those each day. And when it comes to selenium, most animal products are decent sources. Now, if phosphorus and vitamin D are important to you, yogurt and milk are decent sources of both of those. So again, try not to feel discouraged if you can't imagine eating sardines on a regular basis. Because when it comes to nutrition, we can get a bit creative when it comes to designing a well-rounded diet chock full of all of these important nutrients. All right, thank you so much for listening to another episode of Optimal Health Daily. I'll see you back here tomorrow for the Thursday episode where your optimal life awaits.